In the 16th and early 17th century, the English and Dutch had close relations and fought alongside one another against the Spanish. However, once the Netherlands gained their independence, their large navy began to challenge the English trading companies abroad. Tensions were high in the colonies. For instance, in 1623, the Dutch East India Company slaughtered members of the English East India Company in Indonesia. Then, the rivalry between the two nations was made worse during the English Civil War, as Prince Frederick William of Orange and his son William II financially backed the Royalists. So, when when the parliamentarians took control of England, they passed the Act of Navigation in 1651, aimed against the Dutch, limiting the trade of England only to the English merchant fleet. Over the next year, the English privateers began capturing Dutch vessels, and then a Dutch fleet failed to salute the English, and this resulted in the first battle of the conflict in May 1652. The Dutch won the first major naval battle near Plymouth. But the converted merchant vessels of the Dutch would lose to the English warships at the battles of Kentish Knock and Portland. By early 1653, the English were in a position to blockade the Netherlands, but after just a couple months, the Dutch were able to break it. By now, with no sign of a quick victory, there was little desire to see Catholic Spain benefit from the war so peace was made. Cromwell proposed a union between the two countries, but when that was declined, he settled for keeping the Act of Navigation in force. Plus, the Act of Seclusion was secretly included in the treaty, which forbade William II's son from becoming Stadtholder, aka Head of State of the Netherlands. Soon after peace was made, the English and the French fought the Spanish until 1660, but this ended when the English monarchy was restored. And with the restoration came a desire to expand England's trading power and undermine the Dutch. So, the English began to provoke war again. By assaulting Dutch colonies in Africa, capturing New Amsterdam, Monday New York, in 1664, and assaulting Dutch fleets. Finally, the Dutch responded and war was declared in 1665. That June, the Dutch suffered their worst ever naval defeat in history at the Battle of Lowestoft. The English followed up their victory by persuading the bishopric of Munster to attack the Dutch on land. Meanwhile, they also tried to enter into an alliance with the Spanish. This, however, only helped the Dutch, as they were able to gain the support of the French and the Danish in 1666. Dutch Admiral Reuter engaged the English with his reorganized navy at the Four Days Battle and emerged victorious. The following year, in 1667, the Dutch sailed up the Thames and destroyed the English navy at the Raid of Medway. This assault up the Thames, along with the Great Plague and the Great Fire of London the previous year, knocked England's enthusiasm for war. Plus, the French had already invaded Spanish Netherlands, starting the War of Devolution, so a hasty peace was made. The English cemented their control over the Dutch American possessions, but agreed to relax their navigation laws, and gave the Dutch the South American colonies they had taken during the conflict. Soon after peace was made, the English and Dutch joined the Swedish and Spanish in fighting off the French invasion of Spanish Netherlands. This war lasted until 1670, and the English were happy to see a wedge had been driven between their old enemies. So, with the French and Dutch divided, the English signed an opportunistic alliance with the French, aimed only at invading the Netherlands. In 1672, the French, along with Munster and Cologne, decided to invade the Dutch Republic, starting the Franco-Dutch War. The English honoured the treaty and provided many ships and troops to the war effort, starting the Third Anglo-Dutch War. The Dutch prevented the Allies from establishing a blockade, but the French were able to push far into the Netherlands, capturing cities like Utrecht, and quickly opened peace negotiations. Peace negotiations, however, allowed the Dutch to flood their water lines in June, preventing the French from advancing any further. But the invasion did cause a panic in the Netherlands, making 1672 known as the year of disaster in Dutch history. This discontent forced the states to offer William III of Orange the position of Stadtholder. With William as Stadtholder, the English had no desire to continue the war, particularly because a naval invasion was already prevented by Dutch victories at sea. So, William's uncle, Charles II of England, agreed to make peace in 1674, gaining very little. The French continued the war until 1678, and although the Dutch survived, it helped bring about the end of the Dutch Golden Age. However, a decade later, when pro-Catholic James II became King of England, William III of Orange was invited to oust him in the Glorious Revolution.